name is Dick King, and this is my generosity story. I've been a part of St. Philip since 1982. I was raised in the Church of the Brethren and grew up watching my parents drop a check on the plate. They encouraged me to support the church as I started to earn money in various ways. As a child, I knew that tithe equals 10%. I went to a Brethren-affiliated college and participated in convocations at school, but drifted away from attending church on Sundays. Gwen was raised in the Presbyterian Church and was not active in college years either. We moved to Austin in 1980. Our boys were six and two. We moved to Brushy Creek in 1982. We found St. Philip's meeting at Brushy Creek Elementary with our new friends, so we joined our neighborhood church. We were active volunteers. I helped renovate the HRI building when St. Philip's moved there for a period and have done many projects on this campus in woodwork and repair. I've served as a trustee and on the finance committee. I've enjoyed five trips as an adult on junior high youth ROTC mission trips and I'm active in Habitat for Humanity. One thing we have not done is tithe our income regularly. As I learn more about the dollars required for the operations of the church campus and St. Philip's missions, like the mission trips and Habitat for Humanity, I knew that I wanted to be part of the support group that would allow these important efforts to continue and thrive. As a self-employed carpenter, my earnings depend on successful completion of projects rather than an hourly or salary job. I knew from my last few income tax returns a reasonable estimate of income, so I pledged to tithe. I wanted to give on a regular weekly basis rather than at the close of projects to help provide a steady source of funds for the church. It was a leap of faith to commit to support the church in my uncertain economic circumstances. I meet my monthly household obligations and thank God for his blessing in providing talent, skills, and an environment to also allow me to support St. Phillips with comfort and joy. And that's my story, what's yours? Extravagant